This is the Caravaning Summer Show in Hell in Northern Poland and we've got a number of vehicles here. I'll just uh, show you down there and along there. So it's not it's not Stuttgart or Dusseldorf or even the fair at the Nadajin but uh, there's quite a few here and it's, uh, it's a good environment because we've got the sea behind and uh, so it's a nice place to come in the summer. Uh, this is an Elliot Perfect from perfectcamp.pl in Poland so they're the uh, resellers of it. Elliot's manufactured in San Gimignano in Tuscany, Italy. This is the 66 XT version and I'll show, give a quick look around. See, see. I oh, see so we've got the, uh, the sales materials out because of the bright sunlight uh, it look, might look a bit dark inside So that gives you a, a quick uh, overview. Seeing as I'm here, I think I'll, I'll, I'll start off here uh, instead of starting up the front as I normally do. Right, so you've got a couple of steps there leading up to the bed. You've got uh, wardrobes at the back, lockers uh, <laughs> above the bed, uh, and a very nice large skylight. As you'd expect here, you've got um, a television up there. Now I'm standing on the first step and my head is touching the roof. So that tells you that it's less than 170 or 175 centimeters or less, so approximately 175 from the first step upwards would give a head clearance of approximately, I would say, just under 190 centimeters inside, at least at this point, because there's a step there and um, so that's, it's lower there, but at the same time, there's an extra bed. So we'll have a look at that when we get to it. Now, the bedroom can be closed off, should you want it. And it was useful today because I was, I was in here earlier and there was, somebody, there was somebody still asleep. The reason for this was because outside, it was a gangster film was being made. How I Became a Gangster, which will come out in the cinema in uh, January 2000. And 20 uh, apparently and uh, so the, the, the generators and there was a lot of noise and all the rest of it. The thing is I just slept through the whole thing. In fact had I not eaten half a watermelon yesterday and thus had to get up to use the toilet I wouldn't have noticed it at all. Anyway so there's uh, one use of the door. You can see we've got the, um, the shower here and you've got a place there to uh, stand on as you're coming through, should you so need it. And there's the toilet over there. Considering this van is actually being lived in, uh, they've done a very good job of cleaning it up. I won't be opening any uh, drawers though for that reason, and I'm sure you'll understand why. So. Now, uh, this type of layout is it's not original, but uh, in the cheaper version of vans, this, um, well, it's now coming in, I mean, Malibu, I think, so I've done something like this as well. When I say cheaper, and this, these are camper vans we're talking about, everything is comparative. Now, one thing down here in the kitchen we've got is this. Now, uh, at this price range, I, I don't know the exact price of it. I I think we're looking around 60, 65,000 euros, something like that, maybe a little bit less even. Um, you don't normally expect to see an oven there, you certainly wouldn't in Germany. In Germany you've got to really pay at least 100,000 uh, euros before you get an oven. In the UK it's different because they even come in the sm s smallest camper vans, uh, taking up space and there's no space to carry any food. Alright, so we've got a nice big sink with, as you can see, a domestic plug and a domestic plug hole to put it in. Having said that, it's not very deep. Okay, Dometic uh, three burners. Okay, well, it's in use, so uh, uh, 
me I had some coffee here this morning so it's, maybe it's not as sparkling clean as sometimes is there's the bed up there you can see it comes down electronically and I'll just demonstrate quickly there you see comes down like that I won't I won't do it though for Now, um, as far as this is concerned, as you can see, there isn't a key. Now, do you want a key to put in to make the thing move up and down or not? Um, uh, I don't know. I, I think I prefer it without the key, but because uh, key, you know, something extra to lose. But uh, then you, there may be a reason why you want to lock your bed. Anyway, put your answers below. Right now, the, the fridge, as you can see, it comes with uh, this pull-out bit at the bottom for your drinks and uh, the, yeah, I'll, even, I'll, I'll open it even though there's probably some stuff in here. There you go, there's the food and you can see at the bottom as well. You might be able to see at the bottom as well. I'll open this up. Space for your drinks. Uh, in this case it's on a Ford uh, Transit automatic gearbox which uh, I think this is what people even in this country seem to want I mean having spoken to the, uh, the dealers and uh, I, was, I was quite surprised at that but the, the buyer profile is different because in uh, certainly in Germany you're looking at uh, older people, older people from my age really, but, um, but here the, the target market is people from around 40 upwards and um, be, uh, the, 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 main, the main buyers, not, it's not the people in their 60s for example who are the main buyers, so we're looking at a target of 40 and, and but the thing is they have in their normal cars, whatever they, they may be, a uh, automatic a gearbox and so therefore they want an automatic gearbox in their motorhomes as well. Well, as you can possibly tell, the bed will obviously come down here over the lounge. And, uh, so you've got an L shape here. Now, the chairs, I was very impressed by the chairs, but it seems that what they are, it's, it's the normal Ford chair, but they've got a cover put on top of them but it's very comfortable and it doesn't feel that way at all so I was very impressed by the chairs and I'll be looking for something like that for my own van so, space for storage above the cabin uh, and this uh, skylight uh, above now there were several of us in here this morning so for once I actually felt the, the use of this chair here. So I can see back from here. A uh, uh, second television there. Yeah, somebody wants to come in, uh, but the, you can't come in because I'm here. I just heard that uh, on the, <laughs> them speaking. So this gives you a sort of a view uh, here from my favourite uh, seat to the back. Um, now, what do you think of having that washroom, by the way? I mean, I could have asked this years ago and I never did. Uh, the first time it came out, I think, oh, I can't remember which model it was in, but um, uh, it looked quite, it, I thought it looked quite elegant, but... I mean, does it sort of suit the, this type of vehicle, um, which is comparatively cheaper? Another point um, I did mention earlier, but you've got the step up there. Right, so that gives you a overview of this vehicle.
All right, let's see if we can get in here into the garage. So, uh, okay, because of the queen bed, uh, the, it does take. The garage isn't as big as, for example, it could be if the, uh, the, the beds were slightly different. But as you can see, the bed will go up and down. So that you may then be able to get a couple of bicycles, or even more, <laughs> three or four bicycles in here, should that be necessary. I'm seeing where it comes from. There you go. San Jim Jimmy Namo. That uh, Trigano factory there. Trigano do other models such as um, Euromobile, which I think is their top of the range one. Carmen Mobile is one of theirs. Roller Team, uh, Remo, oh, and uh, many more. And at the back, got space here for some bicycles. It's um, the dealers in Benjin uh, near Katowice in southern Poland. So they had quite a long way to get here. In fact, it was just about the maximum distance possible in Poland. That's because Benjin's in the south and this is, this is in the north. It's almost at the northernmost point. In fact, they would have passed through the northernmost point just to get here. Right, so um, you can go to their website, you can understand Polish, perfect camp PL, if you want to know more. Uh, there could be more one day on my website, uh, but um, currently uh, there isn't. So that's all from here in hell.